This is a sculpture fountain. It's uh, a functional sculpture, which makes it very, very interesting. Uh, and for me to, to create an actual sculpture that's, that's not only to be viewed, but actually worked as a fountain is a very, very exciting thing for me. And what I wanted to do on this piece here, my, my general theme was to create a very, very epic depiction of St. John the Baptist. And you can see here, St. John the Baptist is created in a very rough, wildly way. St. John the Baptist, for uh, artists throughout the centuries, has provided a wonderful uh, subject matter to create a, a very passionate piece of artwork because St. John the Baptist was an extremely passionate individual. So here, on this piece here, what I have is St. John the Baptist holding a symbol of a shell, which is a huge conch, which is going to be the source of the water for the uh, full immersion baptismal font. Water will be flowing out from this into a larger pool. And this is not only going to be the source of, of the uh, water, but it's also going to be a place where babies are going to be baptized. It's going to be a place situated at a front of, front of a church where people can dip their hands in it. And it is going to have a very, very uh, eminent place within uh, the church. So I'm very, very conscious about making it, having a statement not only about St. John the Baptist, but about Christianity in general, that it is a very, very powerful, powerful religion. And so I achieved this throughout the, the uh, expression of uh, St. John the Baptist. Uh, it took me a long time to get the actual expression perfect. I didn't want too much strain, but I didn't want to make him smiling, looking like, uh, like uh, he's really just uh, having uh, no problem at all with holding this huge weight. So I have this strain. I, I have the proportions and I have even the musculature if you can check out the arm and the sinewy uh, veins of the hand and, and the uh, knotted muscles here all to create a very realistic serious impression and uh, creating this piece I can't wait to see it when it's actually in its environment because one of the wonderful things about creating a fountain is only after the piece is cast in bronze put in its actual place, well, you get the total benefit of it. And that is the flowing water, which is a very, very important element within the piece. And throughout working on it, what I would do is I would be putting a hose in here, uh, actually flowing water, real water down, so I can see how the piece would affect. And so, though uh, the water right here is going to be flowing down, there's going to be a phalange that will make a sheet and make the water gush out. So it will be very, very exciting. But one of the things that's exciting about it too is uh, no one really knew how St. John the Baptist looked. So what I had was I had uh, a lot of opportunity to create uh, features that how uh, I imagine him to be. And so there is a lot of freedom within this saint and a lot of, uh, a lot of power that's being uh, created in it. To do this piece, it took me probably around uh, six months to create it. All the detail, such as the, the uh, musculature, I had a model step in so uh, I can do it pretty much exact how an actual uh, human form would be. But then at the last moments, I had to step back and take a look at it, how it would be on its own. And so I had to uh, change a little bit to make it coherent and make it work within a sculpture itself. It's not supposed to be 100% realistic, although a lot of the anatomy is bang on. One of the great things about a piece like this too is the drapery. The camel's hair was an exciting point in the piece for me because it was rough and it was great to narrow in that texture. With tools like this, I will just go in and put in the, the texture, which really brings the piece alive and really animates it with life and especially how the hair comes in with the drapery. I love the piece and what, one of the things I especially love about it is it's, it's uh, traditional in the sense that St. John the Baptist has probably been sculpted hundreds and hundreds of times by artists throughout the Renaissance upwards. And uh, it's modern in the sense that now I'm having St. John the Baptist working within a fountain. It was a great experience and I can't wait to see it when it's cast in bronze actually working as a fountain.